Hello, this is Brad from Survival Comms, and today we're going to replace these Type N connectors on this RG142 test cable with some clamp style Type N connectors because that's what we happen to have. Now, let's talk about why we're changing these. If you look carefully at this connector, you can see that center pin is sticking out quite a bit from the body of that connector, and that is completely unacceptable. And this one here, and I've seen a lot of new cables come out, and that pin is still proud of that connector. The reason why we're concerned with that is, is if you look at this connector itself, you can see it's like a colleted type of arrangement here. When the pin sticks out too much, what it does is, is it presses in here, and rather than the connector breaking, what happens is it kind of pedals out. And when that happens, it's very difficult to maintain the tolerances of the connector. The connector we're going to be using is a... RF Industries RFN 1000N, which is a pretty vanilla type N clamp style connector. When you're working with clamp style RF connectors, typically you're going to end up with six components when you pull it out of the package. You have your connector body, your center pin, you have your clamp, you have your nut for the body, you have a washer, and you have a clamp gasket. Take your clamp nut, put it on first, followed by your clamp washer, then your clamp gasket, and now we're ready to strip our cable. Now take your cable and make sure you cut it as evenly as possible, and every RF connector manufacturer, the specifications vary. So depending upon the connector you're using, you need to get the reference drawings from the manufacturer. The dimensions we need to remove for this particular connector are we need to remove the outer jacket to a dimension of 0 0.330. Our next dimension we're working with is indexed where you cut your insulation off, and that is removing the shield, the insulation for the center conductor, exposing only the center conductor to a dimension of 0.142. Now when you've completed that cut, you should be presented with something like this, and take a pick and comb out your braid. After you've combed your braid out, go ahead and dress it like that. Now we're going to install our clamp. The flat of the clamp faces the RF body, or the RF connector body, and the tapered end faces the gasket. So now that we've combed our braid out, it's easy to slide our clamp in place, and the clamp will bear on the outer jacket. And then merely take your braid and evenly place it on the outside of the clamp. Now when you're completed, you can see how your braid is even around the clamp. And we can go ahead and install our center pin. Just like that. In your center pin, you want the base of this pin to bear up squarely on your center conductor insulation. Now when we flow solder in this connection, what I do is, is tin my iron until I have a nice little blob. Go over our solder hole, and the solder should wick inside. Just like that. Now check your work before moving forward, making sure that your center conductor is attached correctly, making sure that your braid is still dressed on your clamp. Take your gasket, place your gasket up against your clamp and your washer and then your nut. Now you take your connector body and insert it and tighten it up. Now when you tighten up your connector body, use two 7 16 wrenches. Now after inspecting your work, repeat it at the other end of the cable and let's sweep our cable and see if we were successful. 
Well, good news. We are nine hundredths of a dB better than spec. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comms. Till next time.